Hi everybody, Bobby Gaines here for the first time in 2018 bringing you some live Red Sox coverage as I've been looking forward to this one for a while. It's the first meeting of the Red Sox and Yankees and if you're a Red Sox fan, well, there's not a whole lot to hate here. Uh, Red Sox on top of the Yankees all over them, 14-1. Uh, I, you know, just came into this game kind of late because I was at work, but uh, I came home and saw the Red Sox leading 10-1 to at the time, then Mookie Betts hit a grand slam to make it 14-1. to and just what else can I say, but what a game for Mookie Betts tonight. Uh, this is most likely the best game I've ever seen him have, and I saw him hit three home runs against the Orioles. I mean, he's had some really good games, but this is one for the ages. Four hits, a couple doubles, a grand slam, uh, five runs scored. I mean, he's done everything you want from your leadoff hitter and more. And see, I've always said that Mookie Betts should stay in the leadoff spot. I, you know, the last couple of years they've moved him to the three or four spot because he's hitting a lot of home runs, but that's not really... I don't know. I like him at the top of the lineup to kind of set up the other guys. He can hit home runs, too, but he also gets on base, good extra base hitter, you know, gets extra base hits, steals bases, uh, gets on base, basically, which is what you want from a leadoff hitter. You know, he does have a lot of power, but that doesn't mean he has to be a three or four hitter, and I, I don't think that that has really benefited him. So I'm hoping they keep him in the leadoff spot this year. Um, tonight's game's a perfect example of it. It doesn't really matter where you bat after the first couple innings, so... Just having Mookie at the top of the lineup, I think, really helps things out as uh, Blake Swihart strikes out. I don't even know who's in the game anymore. I, they took out a lot of the regular players, put in Zue Lin and others to kind of just sub in for the time being. It's the bottom of the seventh inning, so I don't think the Yankees are going to mount any kind of amazing comeback. Uh, I'd like to be more in excited and engaged in this game, but like I said, it's 14-1. to 1, So, I mean, even I'm not, like, at the edge of my seat here on this one, but I'll take it. I mean, I love, you know, kicking some Yankee butt. Sorry, Walk Talk, about it. still hate the Yankees. Um, very excited to see this game playing out the way it is. I, obviously, I don't think every Red Sox-Yankees game is going to be 14-1. to I'm sure there'll be some close ones in there, probably even tomorrow or the next day. Uh, Three-game series against the Yankees. Now, at this point, and I know I've seen some people commenting, or I've seen one person commenting how, like, the Red Sox are running away with things right now, and they are 8-1. and Presumably 9-1 after this game, so this is, clearly, this is the best start I've seen the Red Sox have. I've been following them for a long time now. Uh, even 2004, 2007, and 2013, I don't think they started this good. Um, now, granted, they've been playing the opposition to do it. They've been playing the Rays and the Marlins, two teams who can't get out of each other's way. The Tampa Bay Rays don't even have a fifth starter, so they just have a bunch of bullpen guys pitch. I mean, that's how just lackadaisical they are. And, I mean, their attendance shows it. I mean, the Rays are kind of pathetic uh, at this point. I'm sure, you know, in a few years' time, if they draft well, as they tend to do, they'll probably have a decent team again. But for now, the Rays are terrible. Uh, the Yankees are supposed to be really good. And, again, it's too early to say what they're going to be. They're, I think they're like a 500 team right now. But they've only played the Orioles and Blue Jays, and now they're playing the Red Sox. As that's another strikeout. I don't even know who that was. He struck out, though, and looked pretty bad doing it. Based on this inning, you'd think the Red Sox suck, but as as is the tradition, and whatever inning I film always just goes like crap. Uh, I didn't film the inning with the grand slam and the nine runs. Of course not. I'm going to film the one where they strike out to, you know, just strike out the side. Well, Rafael Devers is up. He's been a pleasant surprise so far. And, you know, when they had Rafael Devers as pretty much the third baseman, like they didn't acquire anyone in the offseason to play third base, that made me a little worried. I know he had a pretty decent September with the Red Sox last year, but he's still, you know, basically, you know, this is his first year in the big leagues, his first full season. We don't know what he's going to be. I mean, he has a habit of swinging at bad pitches and just kind of overswinging in general. Now, that can lead to a lot of good things, but it can also lead to a lot of strikeouts, as we've seen with Giancarlo Stanton and the Yankees, although... I don't think uh, anyone's going to compare Rafael Devers to Giancarlo Stanton. I think they're, you know, completely in different stratospheres. But for now, anyway, Rafael Devers hopes to be, you know, this big hitter for the Red Sox going forward. And we'll see what happens with that. He's had a pretty good start to the season. Count is 1-1 one and one to him. And that one is inside ball two. See, so, yeah, what do I think of the Red Sox? Like I said, I don't know why I'm not more excited because I've never seen them start this good. You know, they've been hitting well. They've been pitching well. They haven't always been hitting well, but the last few games, they put up a lot of runs, so we'll see what happens. Uh, Yankee starting staff's not much, but Severino's a pretty good pitcher, and they got to him today. As that is hit down the line, is that a fair ball? Is that a ground rule double, or is that a foul? Don't you love this baseball coverage? I'm so engaged. i um, just like, oh, is that a foul ball? I don't know. I think that was, yeah, that's a foul ball. We'll go with that. But yeah, like I said, a lot of hope for the Red Sox. Still early in the season. You know, I'd like to see where they are at the end of a month. I mean, if they're like you know, 20 and, like, 8 after the, at the end of April, then I'll be like, yeah, this is a real team. But, you know, we'll see what happens. 
He strikes out too. What I tell you, they strike out the side. So there you go. Yeah, Red Sox suck. No. Um, really good start to the season. Enjoying the drubbing of the Yankees. We'll see you in the next game now.